Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. On this episode of A Day in the Life of a Mahjong Player, I'm on my way to the post office and other errands. I sent a lesson kit to somebody and they never got it. So I gotta go find out what happened. The lesson kits are about the size of a standard stationary box. So they would fit in a mailbox, or most mailboxes, I should say, so I'm perplexed. Anyway, I thought that I would come on and just do a vlog while I'm on the way. And I wanted to share some thoughts on house rules. So, when you play Mahjong, Drive one mile, then turn right on there's a standard way to play by the rules. And I don't know what the stats are as far as rules go. Whenever I teach people how to play, I teach the basic rules of the game. And then the last lesson, or if it's a one session lesson, at the very end of that session, I'll share some variations. Because there are groups that play with house rules and I want the people that I teach how to play the game, that the different variations so that there are no surprises or few surprises as possible when they go to play with other people. If they know what the variations are, then they won't be caught off guard and they'll have at least an, uh, an introduction to house rules. I personally prefer to play by the rules and don't use house rules. When you play with other people though, you have to be flexible and play by their rules if you wanna play. So let me know what you think about house rules. Do you play strictly by the rules? or do you add house rules? Some of the more common house rules that I see played would be for American style, playing with three players, including the Charleston. Another house rule is where you play with a $5 pie. Miles. Turn right on Georgia 140. Let's see, those are probably the two standard house rules that I know of that are right commonly played. And then as far as reach, I think that game is pretty much played standard. I mean, red fives. Akadora, that's a house rule. Miles, then turn right on so I play, when I play reach, north. I use Akadora. Do you use Akadora when you play Japanese style Mahjong? And then for Hong Kong style, when I play, I do a two fawn minimum, minimum. Two fawn minimum, minimum. If I'm playing with more experienced players, we'll do a four fawn minimum. And then we'll do an automatic payout for Kongs. And that's just a quarter for Kongs. So what house rules do you play by? If you play a certain style, make sure you write it in the comment section and then say what your house rule is and how you feel about house rules in general. Do they aggravate you? Do you think it's wrong? Do you consider yourself to be a purist? I mean, to each his own, really, I guess if you think about it, most house rules kind of do go far, but if you want to add interest to the game and, you know, you can really do whatever you want as long as the group agrees. The post office is closed today. I kind of forgot that the post office is closed on Veterans Day. I certainly haven't forgotten though about Veterans Day. There's a special place in my heart for this day. I have a lot of family who have served our country, namely my dad, Career Air Force. My sister-in-law even served. Both men and women serve our country. I'm very grateful for you all. My brother served, my nephew, my husband served, his dad and his brothers They've all served our country. I'm just so thankful and grateful for all that you have gone through to serve our country. And I also wanna thank the families for service men and women because they sacrifice too. Thank you. Thank you for supporting your loved ones 
as they serve our country. I know that it takes a lot out of you. And so I just pray that you have faith and that you have hope and that you trust in God and know that he's watching out for them all and you. And I do want to say thank you too to the families who have loved ones who have given the ultimate sacrifice. You have a special place in my heart and I'm just so grateful. I love our country and the privileges that we have here and we would have none of that if not for those who served and fought for us. So God bless you all.